Yes, yes, boys, welcome, welcome, welcome to this new video on this channel. Today, we're gonna react to the fellas between Coffreezy and Chip. Uh, the title is The Snakes You Really Need to Worry About. Ooh, crazy brazy, let's go. Why am I not even subscribed to them? But yeah, The Snakes You Need to Really Worry About. Let's see it, let's go. Really good podcast, Colin. I? I'm curious, what is like the, the most uh what's the word not i don't want to say rare but like what is one animal that like, has been brought in you've gone oh my god i can't believe like it's this animal do you know what i mean like have yeah. you ever gone i can't believe I, I can't believe what i'm seeing we have a f we've had a few yeah we've had small types of whales come in that, whales. that have washed up on the beach because the beach is only about a yeah. 20 oh, minute wow. drive from where we are Ooh, wow. okay. Jug we've done dugong rescues we've done dolphin rescues um mm -hmm. we rescued a baby tiger shark once we we've wow. done some done some crazy stuff that's pretty there. cool so yeah. a lot of aquatic stuff i in yeah. my head i just envisioned like land animals but obviously oh to, to tell you the honest truth is mostly land animals yeah. but we do for, we do from time to time get sea uh, how, how big is how big are we talking when we're talking baby whale i'm just trying to yeah. picture that in my head now, what, how big is a baby whale well there's small types of of whale that have got teeth they're called tooth teeth toothed whales <laughs> right. they can they can get to like three meters there's still a couple of hundred kilos they're still mm -hmm. quite large so you're not picking it up yourself and then no yeah. you don't just you're not putting it, it in the boot yeah, yeah. it's a bit of a rig yeah um and nick what exactly is it that you get up to here the zoo, because it's so big, we've got a few senior staff that help oversee all of the animal collection and the staff, of course, that have to manage those animals. So I specialise in reptiles, amphibians and birds. So I curate those areas of the zoo. Yeah. I don't have anything to do with like the elephants or the tigers, yeah. um, but that means, you know, there's over 600 animals and about 40 staff under okay. my care so wow. it's a busy day but you know I, I do a lot of the the crocodile work with tobes and yeah. really really lucky to be involved in the research side of things and yeah it's Amazing. never a dull moment i have to i have to ask right so i have like a massive fear of snakes <laughs> snakes is what well. i don't mind spiders i can do anything else i was i'm the first there i'm up stroking the rhino i'm there with everything else it's the snakes that i can't do but as i walked uh i think it was like by the food court area and I walked, I walked through, and there was a, a snake that was the like, yellow one. It's like double, double my, like the length of me. Mm. It, no, was it? Well, the yellow one was massive, and I think that was the reticulated python. And then there was another one called the green anaconda. Yeah. Can they eat humans? Uh, short answer: Yes. Mm. Do they eat humans? It has happened. Yes. But you don't have. That's probably the least of your worries <laughs> while you're here in Australia, because those are really? exotic species. Okay. Uh, from southern and central america and asia so yeah those species you don't have to worry about so they're not knocking around not knocking around and to be honest with you it's so rare and they have to be such a big snake for that ever to be a worry to a human mm, right they just get such a bad rap and it's not warranted yeah. unless they look at you as a potential food source a snake wants nothing to do with people but you've come to the wrong place mate if you're not keen on snakes no, I, see, this we've is, got a couple we've, sure. we've got a few here I, yeah. I heard that there's just like pythons knocking around the zoo yeah everywhere yeah everywhere. Heaps. you walk around the zoo at night time and and there's just there's just wild stuff everywhere yeah so the, it's pretty yeah. cool it, yeah see this, uh, that's what i find so that's insane yet, to me know. that you lot just think this is cool like the idea that there is just a python yeah Anywhere else in the world, if you had told me, oh, we'll just go out tonight, right, out in town, and there was it was a python there, <laughs> it's mental. It's mental, yeah. but here it just seems normal. It's just the normal the spiders yeah. and no, the spiders all the cool stuff. We, we've got it all in Australia. Yeah. yeah. And what, what is your, like, do you have, like, uh, I know it sounds like, uh, you know, when you go on a first date with a girl and you're like, what's your favorite animal? Yeah. <laughs> but what is, is, is there one animal that you're there like, this, this one interests me the most, or this one I like learning about the most? M mine's crocodiles. Mm -hmm. Really? Easily. And yeah. he's got the hat on, man. Yeah, yeah he does. Yeah, yeah, he's, yeah, got, he's got the, the merch. <laughs> everything is, everything for enough. me is crocs. I've croc, yeah. croc. I mean, I love all animals and I've always loved all animals. Yeah. When I started the zoo, it was snakes. And then I slowly had more and more to do with crocodiles and, and worked with Steve a lot. So it just turned into crocs. And now I'm just a really? croc mad. Nice. Crazy video, man. Nice. Good video.